Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Ulanzi Hummingbird quick release system and basically find out is it worth buying? So stay tuned. All right, so right off the bat, if you own like a big camera, like a big DSLR or like a cine style camera, this system won't work for you. This system is more designed for mobile filmmakers, uh, GoPro filmmakers, small mirrorless camera filmmakers. This is right up your alley. Especially if you're into vlogging on the mobile phone, this is something you really should take best to uh, take a look at. Now the first thing first, it, it has a little quick release system here. This tripod is one of their base tripods that it comes with, which is very convenient for vlogging. One thing that I really enjoyed, it has a ball head mount here on the top, which is which is very key because you can go like that, flip it down, and then you can do your vertical, or you can go back up and do your horizontal. It's got a little bit of a pull on it here with a little neck that can go up and stuff like that. And then it works also very good as just a base for a tripod like that you can sit it down. But the thing for me, um, if you have multiple devices, uh, for example, I have an action cam, I have a small mirrorless camera, and I do have a phone. This thing is this game. It's just so game changer. You're like, I, I've always struggled with when I'm filming, especially when you have other optional equipment, like I have a, a Moza slide pod, and I have uh, some other big, uh, big tripods that I use. And then plus I always use my magic arm, which I'm using at the moment. And I have the ball head mount on that. So it quickly, I can just snap that off, snap it onto here and I'm on the go. If I wanna use my slide pod, snap this off, put it on the go. I don't have to take the screw out, put the new screw, the new base plate on, screw that on, which I was doing before I got this system. And I can tell you, repeatedly doing that over and over, it becomes time consuming. And it's just one little thing that you're like, ah, okay, you know what? I don't wanna use this slide pod because I just don't wanna to have to go through and put all the stuff on there and remount the whole system. This takes all of that out to get out the window. Like literally, press the button, slide it out, slide the new one on, boom, you're ready to go. Let's talk quality. Now, Ulanzi, I have some of their other products. I have their Ulanzi anamorphic lens, which is a fantastic little lens. It was probably one of the first anamorphic lenses I bought. So when I got this, first thing first, I was going to purchase it before I even, Ulanzi reached out to me. Literally, I was waiting for payday. And then I got an email uh, like a week before. And I was like, oh, you, we, we worked with you before on the, on the anamorphic lenses. Would you be interested in taking a look at the Hummingbird system? I was like, send it over. Let's, let's, get, let's get it, you know? So... Uh, of course, I'm not, I'm not. They're not. I'm not biased. They don't. They don't have to make me say good stuff about this. They just wanted you know me to put it out there, and I'm 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 satisfied with the quality. The here the top the top is like this little aluminum metal, super solid. When it snaps in there, it is solid. No give, no movement, and you know even with some of my base plates, once it locks in, it gets it has a little bit of play, and I'm like. This thing was so snug, which was fantastic. And that was like the thing that really lit my eyes up. I was like, okay, this is this is game. And then the ball head mount there, just the quality overall is this fantastic build, little quality. For the price range, man, you cannot fail. It does come with a ball head, uh, ball head mount. It also comes with another one like this, it's just solo, not uh, without the ball head mount here that's on this, which I put that on my uh, Moza slide pod. Then I put another one on my big uh, video tripod. And then again, I got the ball head mount version here on top of my uh, magic arm. And then they even came with one for my cell phone, I mean, for my camera. My camera has a cage. It has a special adapter that mounts onto the cage and then it clamps onto the top of that. So you can literally slide that position or you can take it off. And then again, on top of that, there is the quick release system. So if you have a monitor or something that you wanna to connect to the top of that, fantastic. So, I mean, even if you don't have like, you know, the small mirrorless camera, even if you're just you're a, a cell phone vlogger or you film with an action cam, this is still just, I mean, it's just so easy the way that the clips on and clips off. You can have them on multiple devices. You can even have the, that little base plate. Maybe you can mount it to your gimbal, have your gimbal already pre-rigged and, and, and pre-weighted with that on there. So whenever you want to use your gimbal, literally just snap this off, snap it on the gimbal, boom, you're ready to go. You don't have to do all that mounting and every time you have to pull the base clip out. It's just little stuff like this really saves time in the long run, especially if you're pumping out YouTube videos, you're vlogging, you're doing daily vlogging, 
all of these little tiny micro tasks add up in the long run. And if you're able to save time at the end, it just makes filming so much more enjoyable. So even this little guy, it, uh, I keep it in my bag all the time. Before this, I had another one in my bag. I literally had one of my, my um, gimbal base plates on the bottom of, a, of the big cell phone head and it was quite cumbersome but i kept it in my bag now this is always in my bag because i can literally it's ready to go snap that on there i want a little bit more reach boom i can go i do a lot of instagram stuff boom i got my vertical my vertical video going ready to go and the ball head mount i just love the ball head mount because you like you know you want to get that angle just right you want to get that horizon nice and level super fantastic and that is just little stuff like this really just makes filmmaking easier and more funner. So if you guys are looking for a quick, late, quick release system, definitely take a, a look at the Yulanzi Hummingbird system because it's, 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 I think it's definitely worth the money, especially if you're into vlogging, you got multiple devices and all that stuff. So take a look at it. Link will be down in the description. Also, I'll be dropping the, the web pages out now. It's just a source of all these resources for you guys in mobile filmmaking, as far as best apps to use, best music that you want, copyright free music. Uh, it's just a bunch of resources. I wanted to make this webpage less about me and more about resources for you guys as mobile filmmakers or just filmmakers in general if you're just starting out in the filmmaking. So take a look at there. You got what apps you can use for editing on your phone, uh, for filming, apps for your computer that if you want to do like DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere and stuff like that. And uh, take a look, some of them I have uh, some uh, affiliate links on there so you might be able to get a couple bucks off here and there on some of, this, uh, some of the stuff and some of them I don't. And then also for my hardcore fans, I am starting a Patreon, which on the Patreon I'm gonna have a lot of exclusive behind the scenes of how I'm making some of these videos and some of the uh, the one minute videos I do, I'm gonna start breaking down more in detail the editing, the editing process, the color grading process, how I'm setting up the shots. All of that will be down in the Patreon. And if you guys wanna support, definitely take a look. You can buy me a cup of coffee. So enough of the jibber jabber. Again, this is your channel, your resource for mobile filmmaking, uh, mobile filmmaking gear. And I'm starting to get into a little bit of VFX stuff. So I'm gonna to start to share that with you guys too. Enough of my jibber jabber. Patrick LeVar, keep filming. That's the only way you'll get better. Peace.